therefore the conclusion is that after you give up this body, you'll have another body, as you have already done. What is the difficulty to understand? I really want to see you Really want to be with you Really want to see you, Lord But it takes so long, my Lord my It's um, very deep music and everlasting. It's not music that comes one day and is gone the next day. It has a deep spiritual meaning, all based upon the old Sanskrit uh, mantras and prayers. It is something which I think is good for the well-being of people. Krishna said, there's no time when we didn't exist and there'll be no time when we cease to exist. We are in this body and we go through from birth to death we stay the same, the soul is the same, but the body is changing. Srila Prabhupada, people often ask. At various times, he was known as a scholar, a philosopher, a cultural ambassador, a prolific author, a religious leader, a spiritual teacher, a social critic, and a holy man. He was not one of those modern entrepreneurial gurus who come to the West with slickly packaged, watered-down versions of Eastern spirituality promising instant well-being to anyone who could spare fifty dollars. Srila Prabhupada was rather a true holy man, one who could be called an acharya, which means a spiritual master who teaches by example. After arriving in the United States in 1965 at the age of 69, Srila Prabhupada formed the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, which developed into a worldwide spiritual community with hundreds of ashrams, schools, temples and farms, and with thousands of dedicated disciples who made Hare Krishna a household word. To have achieved all this in only 12 years was remarkable. But before he passed away from this world in 1977, Srila Prabhupada had also written and published over 80 volumes of translation and commentary on the great spiritual classics of ancient India. His books were welcomed with great critical acclaim by the Western academic community and by scholars from India as well, and they became standard texts in almost every university and library around the world. Srila Prabhupada had also succeeded in transmitting the profound wisdom of the ancient Vedic culture in a form and style that was clearly understandable to the average modern man. He could somehow explain even the most difficult philosophical concepts to people who were totally unfamiliar with the complex Indian religious tradition. Srila Prabhupada circled the globe 11 times between 1966 and 1977, and everywhere he went, he taught the same basic truths, the fundamental principles of religion that constitute the cornerstone of spiritual understanding for everyone, no matter what their nationality or religion. Krishna 
Srila Prabhupada was, more than anything, a teacher, a professor emeritus of the science of self-realization. And he was the best kind of teacher, because he always lived up to what he taught. same process, you accept another body when this body is no longer useful. So death means when this body is useless, you do not come to this body, you accept another body. This is called death. Our material bodies are temporary. However, we are eternal beings. At the moment of death, the individual soul changes bodies, transmigrating from one body to another. remains always unaffected by these bodily changes. Also the animals are spirit souls just like humans. Only we have a different type of body. They have an animal body, while we have a human body. By nature's way, we are getting body, but that is on the selection of the nature according to my work. If I work like animal, I get animal body. If I act as trees, uh, then you get tree body. If you act like dog, you get dog's body, nature's body. Uh, Therefore, you find so many varieties of body. The question is, what kind of body I shall get? Uh, that is human intelligence. The living being is eternal by nature, but due to his bondage and the material existence, he has to change the body from one to another. This process is called transmigration of the soul. The cycle of birth and death is very painful for us because naturally we are eternal. Oh. 
all living entities. The soul is eternal. Therefore, a sober man should think, why should I change my body? Why this trouble I shall take? That is human sense. If I am eternal, why not my eternal body? Eternal existence, why shall I die? This is human sense. When we get the chance for human life, it is a chance to get free from the laws of karma, a most precious chance to be liberated from the painful, continuous cycle of birth and death. It is a chance to realize our blissful, eternal, spiritual body near God. All of our devotional activities for the Supreme Lord will bring us eternal happiness. Only pure spiritual activity has the potency to free us from the repeated cycle of birth and death. By always thinking of God, we will go back to Him in our next lives. Because we are His parts and parcels. Because the ultimate goal is God. So you have to understand God and try to love Him. So you can go through any religious process. If the goal is attained, that you understand what is God and you try to love Him, then your life is perfect. Our selfish actions will bind us to the cycle of birth and death, making us forgetful of God. Attachment to our sense pleasures and ignoring our relationship with God is the source of all our suffering. Yes, we have free will to make our own choices, but we have to accept the painful reactions of our actions. In this material world, all sense enjoyment is temporary. As spiritual eternal beings, we can find satisfaction only with eternal, spiritual, and perfect love. Not knowing our true nature, we are trying to enjoy the temporary and illusory material energy. We imprison ourselves by sense activities like intoxication, speculation, gambling, and illicit sex. We choose to numb our consciousness with computer games and media instead of meditating on our existence. We allow the media to condition our minds into identifying ourselves as material bodies when we are not. This ignorance causes continuous unsatisfaction of the soul and we can't understand why we are not happy. Authorized violence and meat-eating covers up our mercy, the very essence of being human. One who desires to eat flesh of the other creatures lives in misery when he takes his future birth and cannot enter the celestial abode. So you may love humanity, but because you do not love Krishna, therefore do not love the cows you send them. So your love will remain defective. It will never be complete. And if you love Krishna, then you love in this small ant. He will not interest him to kill him with an ant. That is real love. 
you will kill your own son? Why? Because you love him. We let animals suffer greatly for our own pleasure and greed. We can't create a life at will, so we don't have the right to exploit and kill anyone. Animals have souls like humans. We both eat, sleep, fear, defend, mate, nurse and love. One who involves in killing, selling, cooking and eating innocent animals will undoubtedly will suffer like them in the next life by a similar process. Meat-eating invokes the quality of cruelty in humans and covers up our spiritual intelligence to be able to understand the Supreme Lord. Because you are chanting, therefore you are loving everyone. That's a fact. These Hare Krishna chanters they never agree to kill any animal, even a plant, because they know everything is part and parcel of God. Why unnecessarily one should be killed? That is love. A humanity that is misled has lost its mercy and repeatedly causes suffering towards one another. Being subjected to continuous manipulation, eternal beings have lost connection with their conscience. When we kill one another, we kill ourselves, thus killing inevitably increase. It is not God who is responsible for our sufferings. We are the cause of all our miseries, because of our past and present actions. Pain and pleasure is the same. So, as soon as this consciousness that I am feeling American pain, American pleasure, uh, as soon as this is over, then we come to the original consciousness. Because consciousness cannot be American or African. If I pinch you, the pain felt by you is the same when I pinch uh, the African. So therefore the consciousness is the same. Artificially we are thinking that American consciousness, African consciousness. Artificially, we are thinking it is American pain or it is Indian pain. This artificial covering has to be removed. Then we come to Krishna consciousness. The perfection of our eternal lives is to see ourselves and God, Krishna, within our hearts. And to deeply realize that I am an individual soul, a particle of pure spiritual energy. The perfection of our existence is to realize that we have an eternal, unique relationship with Krishna. Intelligent persons seek to do work which will free them from the reactions of their actions. The intelligent man submissively inquires from a self-realized soul and humbly renders service unto him. The devotee glorifies the Supreme Lord and thus contacts him by chanting his divine names with devotion. And Hare Krishna means what? Hare Krishna means addressing uh, the energy of God. Hmm. Hare means the energy of God, and Krishna 
means God. Mm -hmm. Devotees of Krishna are kind friends to all living entities and sees them as equals, knowing them to be spirit souls. They do not kill animals or eat meat, fish and eggs. True compassion uncovers the divine nature in humans. They only partake in food which is offered to the Supreme Lord with love and devotion. Spiritually surcharged food is the mercy of the Lord. It purifies our consciousness and allows us to remain free from accumulating bad karma. A devotee lives a simple and peaceful life which allows him to think of the Supreme Lord and serve others without pride. Lives without violence, lust, hate, anger, envy, intoxication, speculation, illicit sex and gambling. They raise God-conscious children for the welfare of society and to serve the Lord. Through the institutions that they establish, they teach ancient Indian wisdom and how to apply spiritual values to contemporary lifestyles. They use their creativity and talents to glorify and to please the Supreme Lord, Sri Krishna. Preaching the glories of the Supreme Lord for the eternal happiness and well-being of society is their service. Through the chanting of the Holy Name, they reach the perfection of life by attaining love of Godhead. Since the Lord is absolute, there is no difference between His name and His actual form. Why do we see so many of your followers chanting um, yes. almost all the time? Chanting means to keep association with God always. So you have to audibly chant yes. Hare Krishna? Yes. This is, this is uh, transcendental, transcendental vibration. Just like a uh, radio message, if you keep contact with the radio message, mm -hmm. uh, then you know everything what is going on outside. Similarly, this transcendental sound, Hare Krishna, if you chant, then you keep connection with God directly. Thank you very much, um, Your Divine Grace. It's been our privilege. One who lives within Krishna consciousness at the moment of death takes his spiritual, blissful body frees himself from the painful cycle of birth and death, never returning to the material world again, and sees the Lord face to face.
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे 